Well, that's not going in. Today, I am building the frame for my Voron 2.4. In front of me, I have 18 pieces of Masumi extrusions grouped in order from A through E. All of this is drawn out in the assembly manual. I'm going to unwrap the plastic and check for damage. Everything looks good, but all my pieces are off by a half to one millimeter. Maybe my tape measure is off. It doesn't matter. What's important is that all the pieces in each group are the exact same length. Otherwise, it will be difficult squaring the frame. You shouldn't have this problem since machines cut pretty consistently. I am using the recommended blind joints, so make sure the group B extrusions have the drilled holes. When you insert the screws, be careful not to cross thread it. Aluminum strips easily and will ruin your day. Don't ask how I know. It should go in smoothly, and if you are unsure, start the bolt counterclockwise until the threads catch. Then reverse and fasten in the normal direction. This ensures that you aren't making your own threads and screwing things up. Leave the screw head protruding from the A extrusions as they slide into the slots of the vertical B extrusions. The screws are tightened through the drilled holes with an allen key, and this creates the blind joints. I am not using thread locker. There is no rotational force on the frame, unlike set screws, which are used later in the build. I saw someone thread locking every single fastener, which in my opinion is overkill. It eats plastic, like printed parts, and can lead to over tightening of fasteners. If you accidentally use the red one, it's not coming apart without heat or a torch, which will likely melt your printer. The challenge is getting everything squared. You may find a square in one plane, but not the other. I don't have a machinist square, and this IKEA lac table is the flattest surface laying around. I found it easier to assemble a few pieces before even attempting to square it. Attach the other A and B extrusions, working your way around. For the top extrusions, I found it easier just to flip the whole assembly over and use the flat table surface to fasten those pieces. I now double check squareness by measuring both diagonals for every side. On the four sides, corner to corners were 26 and 3 16 inches or 665 millimeters all around. My top and bottom measurements were about 25 and 5 8 inches or 651 millimeters. If something is out of square, you want to find out now and also why, as it may cause problems down the road. Everything looks good, so I snugged up the bolts good and tight without going ham on it. Don't forget that aluminum strips easily. I said that again because I wish it upon no one. The four corner brackets are attached to the bed extrusions with the same screws. Originally, I thought these were extrusions cut at an angle, so don't forget to buy these brackets if self-sourcing. Before continuing, make sure the frame is in the correct orientation and find the side with the least imperfections. Time to mount the bed extrusions, or so I thought. In the last video, I bought some high quality Masumi T-nuts for the gantry and plan to use the AliExpress T-nuts everywhere else. Well, the problem is the nuts I got from AliExpress do not roll in. I tried forcing it in using different methods to no avail. If you compare with the Misumi short nut on the left, it rotates and clicks in easily, whereas on the right, there is no way these half round nuts will drop in due to the shape. It appears that proper sized roll-in nuts have a thinner and sharper point. I bought these directly from the sourcing guide and they appear to be the right product as pictured. Perhaps they were meant to be used with a different extrusion size or type and they are not meant to be used on post assemble pieces. On the bright side, they have a locking spring and fit snug when slid in from an open end. That way you don't have to worry about them rotating on you while screwing things down. For anyone wondering, it is also impossible to remove these nuts from the top without damaging the extrusion. This only confirms my suspicion that they weren't made to roll in as spec'd. The problem is I already squared my frame and didn't want to take it apart. Even if I did, it's hard to plan for every nut that needs to be inside an extrusion prior to joining it. Not having roll-in T-nuts is a showstopper. I was just about to go online and buy more T-nuts when I decided to take a step back. Flipping through the assembly manual, I calculated that the build required a minimum of 96 M3 and 68 M5 T-nuts. This matches the quantity on the web configurator bomb. On hand, I have 50 Misumi T-nuts for each size, along with 90 M3 and 30 M5 nuts from AliExpress. 
I documented the Masumi nuts that should be rolled in post-install, the ones holding the rails, skirts, and pieces which required disassembly of the main frame. The AliExpress nuts can be slid into the extrusion ends prior to assembly, such as the gantry. Those are in the adjacent column. I have enough Misumi M5 nuts, but will be short on the Misumi M3. However, most of the shortage should occur near the end of the build, so I have some time. If I order nuts from AliExpress today, there is a two month wait. Moral of the story, I suggest just buying all your T-nuts from Misumi if you are self-sourcing. It's not worth the risk of ordering or receiving the wrong stuff. Let's continue. Back to my document, I also highlighted rows where the AliExpress nuts should be inserted on their bed extrusions prior to assembly. These mount the bed, deck panel, and Z end stop. Unfortunately, that means I need to remove these angle connectors, slide in the T-nuts, and reassemble them. If you forget, it's not a big deal since it's relatively easy to mount and dismount these two extrusions at any time. Make sure you don't mix up the M3 and M5 T-nuts. Although these Masumis are removable, it's still a hassle, so take your time. This will be more apparent when we attach the Z-rails, which use multiple pieces to hold each one in place. For these 300mm bed printers, the frame is actually 460mm wide. The center is half of that, or 230mm, which I marked with tape. The extrusions are spaced 130mm apart. Half of that is 65 millimeters, which is how far each extrusion needs to be from the center. Get it close enough, but don't tighten it all the way. This allows for adjustment when the bed gets mounted, or if you forgot to put in those T-nuts earlier. The first section is done, and we have used all of the A and B extrusions. You can compare the roughly 18 inch footprint of this 300 frame relative to the table, which is a little over 21 and a half inches long. If you are building a 350, that frame is about 20 inches and will almost fill up the entire table's surface. And that's not even including the parts that stick out, like the spool holder. If you are working in a small space, I have two suggestions. First, find a way to organize your parts. There is nothing more frustrating than having to find a bag of screws you misplaced. The second is to find a way to soften the corners of the frame as they are sharp. It is very easy to cut yourself while walking by or leaning over it. In the next video, I am going to work on the deck panel along with the Z rails, drives, and idlers.